Bon was the king of the game for over like a year. He became the best hero in the game at launch. Then he got a holy relic that made him the best in the game again. And then he got sequential updates like Terry and then Reinhard that made him come back and then come back. It, it, it was a long time that this guy was meta. And now he's not. But a new Bon is about to come out. So let's celebrate by actually putting some work of the old Bon because he's not bad either. He's just really, really old. Two years old. It's kind of crazy to think that there is a character, or there are characters, not just Bon, that are this old and still can put on work. Because if you, uh, like, look at it... Oh, do you have Tarmelink really on the girlfriend now? If you look at it, like, you know, you have... Um, obviously, you have characters like Blue the One, which fell off because he was a damage-only character. And, you know, the moment he got, like, damage-gapped, by other characters, you know. It'd be like that. But Margaret is also pretty old, right? She came out, like, right after Bond, and she's still a usable character. Probably wouldn't be as usable if there were more goddesses instead of so many garbage original characters, but, you know, still used. <laughs> and then you have, um... Maybe Excalibur Arthur I'm also using right now, of course. Lolly Merlin is weirdly still good, somehow. Because of that damage cap bullshit. Uh, let's break the shield. I think that breaks the shield. Nice. They have three alt gauge right there. Boom. He still can do some pretty good damage. Now, they do need to have the ultimate gauge. Like that. If they don't have the ultimate gauge, that card is not doing nearly as much. But... You know, with the current meta, most characters are pushing for ults anyways. I'm not saying, I'll, of course, use Bon, he's great right now, but not ass, you know, could be definitely much worse. That's what I'm expecting from the new Bon, you know, a character that is so good, he keeps coming back and never falls off completely. It's still somewhat usable two years after. Not meta, but usable. Is that is that too much to ask? I don't think it's too much to ask for characters to remain usable for a long time. I wish all characters were like that, you know? I wish I could still use... What was a meta unit around the time of Bon? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, Terry came out, obviously, <laughs> a little bit after, and became the the meta alongside Bon. But I'm thinking, what, what was uh, a meta around that time as well, that is completely unusable now? I can't think of any. I mean, at the time of Bon, it's really hard to think of any, because Bon was the meta and he was so oppressive. My god, he was so oppressive. Like, there was no other meta. And there couldn't be another meta. But right before... I guess the Blue the One. Like, Blue the One is a character that, you know... Unfortunately, because of his design, him being, like, a damage-only character did fall off pretty hard, but, you know, it is what it is. That doesn't kill. He got close, but he doesn't care. You should put Tarmia Link on him. I don't have any buffs. Ugh. This guy knows what he's doing. I have two damage lowers and they don't have buffs. Except Sauria, which buffs himself when uh, he gets attacked. Yeah, not the most damage. That's fine, though. Yeah, the damage lowers are were pretty unfortunate. The mild damage lowers. Because, like, not only he has damage lowers on me, I he also has damage reduction. Right? Like, the innate damage reduction from existing. Um, hmm. Can I kill my L here? He can't attack me right now because I have, I have Taunt of Arthur. Um, well, I hope so. Let's attack with Bon. I still have one stack of damage reduction on top of my head, so... 
Not bad. For a level 1. I don't know if I will kill my L because he has so much damage reduction. I have. I'm being damage lowered. I did. Nice. But on Askenor, I mean, this team right here. Bon, Askenor, Arthur might actually be meta in like a few days. You know, not this Bon, but a new one. Because Arthur is, you know, a human damage slash stat booster. And then you have uh, Arf, uh, you have Escalar, which is like the best human in the game. I can see, I can see it becoming the meta. Like overusing some like Rudius, for example, which just came out, or Roxy as well. Like those characters are also decent, but like Roxy, unless the Bond is single target base, she will already like be completely useless, right? She need like the bond needs to be single target based or she's just absolutely useless. So that's unfortunate. Oh my god, I got level two for bond. He has no ult gauge though. Like no ult gauge at all. One. I think I can still kill. I'm gonna go for it, I don't care. And he has damage reduction from the end. I kinda have to go for it. Cause he ranked up, so. Hoping for the best. Like, he has his own damage reduction and the end's damage reduction. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I mean, it was level 3. <laughs> if it didn't kill, it would have been kind of embarrassing. Oh, this would be a weird one. Arthur is being tar uh, targeted because uh, Askenor has attack crit. Let's do this. Mm. Maybe I trusted asking around killing Marlon too much. Okay. I have asking her on base Merlin link for the extra crit chance. That shit's needed, man. I feel like these days if your character doesn't have 190% crit chance, he has zero. Actually, unfortunate. Like, for a character like an old as Bond, it is really unfortunate. He, he ain't critting. Like, even with full crit chance, which I have, I have full crit chance gear, he hardly crits. Like, how much crit chance he has right now? Does he have right now? Uh, 127. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have that much anyways. That is with full crit chance gear. Right, hopefully we get one here. Just 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 to uh shit on what I just said. Get some crits on, on her. Come on, Bon, you got this. He did, nice. What is her crit resistance? I don't know. I think her crit resistance is pretty good. So I got I got pretty lucky there. Nice. Did lose alt gauge, which is actually not bad for Bon. You don't want to have max alt gauge with Bond if you still want to build the stacks. Obviously, you want to have max alt gauge for the ultimate, but you know. Mmm. Come on, Bond, kill her. Kill Roxy. That did nothing to the shield. I mean, it makes sense. Oh! Okay. This is something I didn't know. I thought, oh, okay. I thought, okay, let's say the enemy is targeted, right? Once they attack with an AoE card, because they are attacking her, they immediately lose 30% accurately of stats. But no, the only attack that gets lowered is the one on her specifically. You saw, like, Rox's shield was like, about half broken and hers was like no broken at all because he got lowered but he wasn't lowered for the roxy attack i had no idea that is really bad <laughs> i mean it's not really bad but that's unfortunate i thought that that's how the the passive worked it's a little worse it's actually very much worse that way because 
the way I thought it was is like, let's say Trader Melly does an AoE, like a big AoE, your teammates will be safe. Guess not. Uh, let's try again. I mean, he he has his passive plus his blue, but still, let's try it again. Yeah, he did 16k on Anashi on, and 4k on her. Like, I know she's damage lowered as well. But the damage lower is not big enough for that discrepancy. A blue character with Nanashi passive? That is crazy. I wish I could test this like better in real time. Oh, sorry, she doesn't have damage reduction uh, against f for the enemy that's being that's attacking her. I I, uh, I don't know why I thought she did. So yeah, that that's uh, and not come tell me. Oh, I knew this. Shut up. No, you didn't. Unless you were facing her like non-stop and then you noticed that. Because I've been facing her non-stop. And like, it's the first time I noticed that. Okay, I should just back out of this one. This guy is just gonna be attack sealing me like every turn. It's just garbage human. Okay. I'm being attack lord, not that it matters. For Bond, at least. For Askenor, it does, of course. I put a blue card at the end, so it doesn't get removed. Okay. Now I need a, a big Bond attack. Which I did not get. Okay. Uh, this will be troublesome. For sure troublesome. Yeah, Arthur is done next turn. He's dead. One old gauge on Melly, huh? No choice. No choice but to do this. He's not gonna have any damage reduction anymore. Okay. I was a little scared. I mean, he had, like, no health, but I was a little scared. Bond wouldn't do enough, to be honest, because, uh... Didn't have much stacks. It was a level 1 card. Alright. Well, that's it. I just hope the new Bond's good. Especially given last year, right? Like, last year's festival unit was, uh... Questionable for PvP performance. Like, she was only really good for guild boss. <laughs> uh, I mean, she... People did dogs with her when she first came out, like Light Liz. Obviously, that didn't last a long time because she wasn't that great. But, you know, before people knew better, she was usable. <laughs> like, before people knew better, they started using Green Liz. Oh, that was unfortunate. I think I, I lose the buff that, yeah, that, that heals. So it wasn't even the HP bonus that I lost there from the blue card. So yeah, the level 1 card is just atrocious. Ouch. Either way. Oh, they have no buffs. Doesn't matter. Almost mattered, actually. It almost did matter. 